What's up guys, JCM here and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be reviewing 91 rated Zinedine Zidane, the Real Madrid legend. Now as you can see, this is 91 rated card, what is his baby version. Currently it's going for just over 2 million coins and the price range on PlayStation 4 is 295,000 to 5.6 million. And then on Xbox, it's slightly cheaper at 229,000 to 4.3 million. He's six foot one tool it has the high medium work rates and as you can see it has the five star skill moves and the five star weak foot and in the seven matches i played with him he managed to get me eight goals so it isn't too bad there for a center mid i did also play him in at the cam position as well just to test him out um, to see where he did work best so now moving into some of the in-game stats overall, he's got the 84 pace along with the 83 sprint speed and 86 acceleration. So that's perfect there for a centre mid and cam. Um, you know, pace isn't really too much of a necessity. And then when it comes to the shooting, the standout stat there is the 89 long shots. And you can definitely feel that in-game. When it comes down to passing there, overall incredible, 91. Um, the 88 crossing, 91 free kick accuracy, the 86 curve along with the 93 short pass. And and then in the dribbling category there, the agility at 77 is a bit low, but dribbling, composure, ball control, all insane. Um, so that does make up for it. Defending there is also pretty decent, surprisingly. You know, he's got 78 stun tackle, what isn't too bad. His heading and interceptions are nice. The only thing that lets him down a bit are the defensive awareness and the slide tackles. So I wouldn't recommend playing this guy in the CDM role personally, but I definitely do think he could do a job there. And then the physical as well, they're not too bad at all. Um, so this card is based around his time at Bordeaux if I do remember correctly um, so it was basically at the start of his career the second ever club he did play for so anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so starting off the highlights now for this 91 rated Zidane Zidane, the first pro I could find with this card was his free kicks. Now, I didn't actually manage to score any free kicks in this video, but when I did take them, they were absolutely insane. The way he strikes the ball and the technique he does have, um, including the run up from the free kicks, just seemed to be the best on FIFA that I've used so far. I think if I played a lot more matches with him, you know, maybe another five, um, I definitely think I would have scored a free kick with him because he's really good at drawing those free kicks as he's got the five star score moves, so he's going to be beating a lot of players and they're going to be getting pissed off and then we're going to be getting slide tackled a lot so um yeah he does draw a lot of free kicks and he has a great free kick on him so um if only i would have been able to play a few more matches i really do think i would have scored some mad free kicks after that the next pro with this card was his volleys now this thing you will see in this video he manages to score some absolutely insane volleys left foot right foot doesn't make a difference obviously he does have the five star weak foot as well so um, that's not going to be an issue at all and this guy strikes the ball so clear and i think it's his shooting in general to be honest he just kicks the ball so clean and it's always top bins top corner um, you know he has to do it in style he can't just score an average goal he has to score skillful and good looking goals and I absolutely love that about this card and then the final pro with this card was his dribbling now as expected you know the agility is a bit low but to be honest I didn't really feel it too much in game um, you know players like Ronaldo also have a bit of um, low agility but the same with him you can't really tell it too much um, and with Zidane you know he was perfect you know he was great at scaling um, his ball control and dribbling really did make up for it and it's got some nice skill goals in general with him um so i definitely don't think that um having the low balance or the low agility is too much of a con and it's not even low it's 77 what isn't the worst to be honest and with chem styles that can be corrected so now moving into the only con i could find with this card and that was his positioning now this is only if you're going to play him in the cam position um i found that you know when i played him in the cam position and i was going on counter attacks he was never really there you know he was too far back and i think that is because of the defensive medium work rates if you're playing him at centre mid I think it'll be absolutely fine I don't think positioning will be too bad he probably will sit a bit deeper than you know your normal centre mids but still he can do a great job um, but personally for me I think he's utilised the best in the cam position boss can do a great job as a wide centre mid um, the key stat there is your 94 ball control as I already mentioned the high and medium work rates what um, isn't the worst in the world but definitely isn't the best high low would have been so much better in my opinion so overall this sedan card as you can see is absolutely insane from the goals I'm scoring definitely one of my best skillers I've used so far in FIFA 20 so smooth so fluid and I would love to get my hands on this card um, you know actually purchase him off at the market I think is around 2 million or just over at the moment so I'm quite a way off 
So hopefully around team of the season, um, you know, when loads of cars start coming out, this card will probably drop in price to around 2 million. So I might pick him up then or hopefully he drops even lower. But anyway, guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview for 91 rated Zinedine Zidane. On the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. He was so, so good for me um, and just a really fun card to use. Obviously, he had the great long shots and the incredible dribbling. And of course, he's just Zidane Zidane, so he has that great aura about him. Then when it comes down to competitiveness, once again, this guy is going to be one of the best players throughout the whole of FIFA when it comes down to playing in a foot champs. You know, he's got insane pace, insane dribbling, great defending, you know, all round just an incredible incredible card and then when it comes down to scaling i'm going to give him a 9.2 out of 10 as i already mentioned that agility at 77 for me wasn't a problem usually i only like five star skillers who do have a really high agility but for me personally it just didn't seem a problem with this dan card i think the ball control and the high dribbling did make up for it and then overall i'm going to give him a 9.1 out of 10 one of the highest ratings so far in fifa 20 now, if you do want to see more player reviews on my channel, drop a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.